Hey, television, back with me again. Aji Gautama Putra, the IME lecturer for operating systems. This is the, our 11th meeting about scheduling part one. In the first video, we are going to discuss about FCFS performance. So this is the perform uh, the timeline of FESS in our last uh, meeting. So if you missed it, go to the last. Uh, sorry, the last video. If you missed it, go to the last video. And now we are going to uh, calculate the performance of FCFS timeline, uh, the FCFS uh, scheduling to know if it is good or bad. So how do we do that? We know that uh, the arrival time of A, B, C, D is um, uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and the service time each is 3, 6, 4, 5, 2. And uh, by knowing the finish time of each, process and the turnaround time we will know if it is bad or good so the finish time of a a finishes at 3 and b finishes at you can see here at 9 so b finishes at 9 and c finishes at 13 and d finishes at 18 and E, lastly, will uh, finish at 20. And turnaround time means uh, finish time minus arrival. So turnaround time, uh, time is the time uh, from its arrival until it is uh, finished. So turnaround time of A is 3 seconds, just like service time, and turnaround time of B is 7 seconds, and turnaround time for C is 9 seconds, and for D is 12 seconds, and for E it is also 12 seconds. And now we want to calculate NT80. NT80 or NTAT is normalized turnaround time. Normalize the around time, uh, which is the equation is its uh, turnaround time divided by service time. So, for example. A, uh, the, uh, the turnaround time is uh, 3 seconds and the service time is also 3 seconds, so a, the NTAT of A is 1, which uh, means that it is very good. And the NTAT for B is 1, 1 over 6. And uh, for C, it is 9 divided by 4, meaning that it is 2 one quarter and the NT80 for D is around 2 and 2 over 5 and for E it is 12 divided by 2 meaning that the NT80 is 6 and uh, we can uh, know the performance of this uh, FCFS by calculating the mean and also the uh, the mean of the turnaround time and the mean of the NTAT. And now the mean of the turnaround time is 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 12 plus 12 divided by 5, which results in 8.6. And the NTAT is 1 plus uh, and so on and so on and so on, which is and just as you uh, so you know 12 divided by 2 which is 6 here is very large for an nt80 but the result of uh, this is 2.56 and now we know the performance and actually uh, we have some discussions to make so there are uh, good things of SCFS and there are bad things for FCFS. The bad things are that uh, short processes are 
not uh, benefited from the algorithm. But the good thing is that um, because it's simple, there are no overhead, and uh, also uh, there are no starvation because the first uh, the first process that comes will be processed, so it will, and there's no possible uh, no possibility that it will wait for another process. So that is the end of FCFS. Thank you. And in the next video, we will we'll go to the next algorithm that we will discuss. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for your attention.